Copenhagen shooting, Danish police cannot rule out terror in mall attack. Danish police have arrested a 22-year-old man in connection with a deadly shooting at a Copenhagen shopping mall. Police chief Soren Thomason said the motive was unclear, but that he could not rule out an act of terrorism. Mr. Thomason said several people had been killed in Sunday's shooting, adding it was too early to provide exact figures. Eyewitnesses have spoken of panic among shoppers as gunfire rang out inside the Fields Mall in the south of the city. Emily Jeppesen told Yulon's Post and newspaper, you didn't know what was happening. Suddenly there was just chaos everywhere. Another witness, Mati Alwazni, told TV2 that the shooter had carried a hunting rifle. Speaking at a news conference on Sunday evening, Mr. Thomason said it was too early to say how many people had been harmed in the attack. But he told reporters that there was no indication that other attackers were involved and urged shop owners to preserve any video surveillance footage they might have. He described the man detained as an ethnic Dane. Fields is said to be the largest shopping center in Denmark, with over 140 shops and restaurants. The multi-story mall is located on the outskirts of Copenhagen, just across from a subway line that connects to the city center. A concert British singer Harry Styles was due to perform at a venue less than a mile from the scene has now been cancelled. Writing on Snapchat, Styles said, My team and I pray for everyone involved in the Copenhagen shopping mall shooting. I am shocked. Love H. Shortly after the shooting, the Danish royal family announced that a reception due to be hosted by Crown Prince Frederick been cancelled. The event had been organized to celebrate Denmark hosting the first three stages of the Tour de France. Several neighboring leaders expressed horror at the shooting and offered condolences to the families of those impacted. Finnish Prime Minister Sanna Marin condemned what she called a shocking act of violence and Irish Toasich Michael Martin offered his deepest sympathies to the families and friends of those killed and injured. Norwegian leader Jonas Garstor said his thoughts go to the victims and their relatives and to the relief crews who are currently working to save lives. Denmark last saw a major terror event in 2015, when two people were killed and six police officers were injured during an attack on a cultural center and a synagogue in Copenhagen. The gunman was later killed in a shootout with police.